what is Lemuria in general? And furthermore, what is the Lemurian bank in POD material? The name Lemuria comes from zoologist Philip Sclater, who in 1864 proposed the idea of Maritia, a Precambrian microcontinent that was situated between India and Madagascar until their separation about 70 million years ago. As accounting for the presence of lemur fossils in Madagascar and the Indian subcontinent, but not in Africa or the Middle East. Only he called this hypothesized sunken landmass Lemuria. The term was picked up on in Theosophy, and later James Churchward, 1851 until 1936, wrote extensively about it, calling it Mu for short. By now, it has become a polemic for the notion of a Pacific Ocean equivalent to Plato's lost continent of Atlantis. Nevertheless, Paleo continent. Nevertheless, during the last ice age, when sea levels were lower, from 115,000 until 11,700 years ago, a Paleo continent which archaeologists call Sahul, that encompass the modern-day landmasses of mainland Australia, Tasmania, New Guinea, and the Aru Islands, did exist. Sahul was separated from Sunda, including Bali, Borneo, Java, and Sumatra in Indonesia, and their surrounding small islands, as well as the Malay Peninsula on the Asian mainland. By the Wallachian archipelago of islands, it is estimated humans first colonized Sahul between 60,000 and 45,000 years ago, making the ocean crossing from Sunda through Wallachia. In the context of the POD material, the Lemurian epoch refers to the duration of the last North Hemisphere Ice Age. This epoch followed in the POD material, that of Atlantis, when the first global civilization of coastal dwelling, seafaring hominids ruled from Antarctica, called Nibiru in later Sumerian myths. The epoch of Lemuria was predominantly defined by nomadic tribalism, as once coastal, culturally unified peoples now spread inland separately, and predominantly marked by the erection of the earliest menhirs, upright stones, dolmens, lintled megaliths, and tumuli, burial mounds. So, like the Enochian communication system, that is, Earth's ionosphere, Earth's ionosphere's capacity for use as an over-the-horizon transmission medium for pulsed signals of electrical energy, is named Enochian because, I believe, its discovery predated the era of the world flood, corresponding to the end of the Younger Dryas period event some 12,850 years ago. The Lemurian economic system, or Lemurian church bank, is called such because the substance of its currency predates even the first use of cowrie shell money by the earliest Lemurians of Sahul. In the POD material, the Lemurian economic system or Lemurian Church Bank, is the same thing for accessing zero-point energy as a source for a limitless supply of potential electrical power, as the Enochian communications system is. 
for instantly transmitting data of information across a universally shared medium. That is to say, both the ECS for communication and the Lemurian Church Bank depend entirely on the electromagnetic potential of Earth's ionosphere. Once knowledge has progressed to the extent we can harness infinite potential zero-point energy inside of Earth's ionosphere, then the Enochian communications system by which we have harnessed it will become the Lemurian Church Bank. When we have, then we will remember the lost, sacred secret of how to manifest matter out of pure mind alone, using only our existing cerebral biology. So, the Lemurian Church Bank is for manifestation, basically the same as the ECS is for telepathy, a medium of transmission.